latest purchase from eBay um, RM Italy BLA 350 300 watt linear amplifier um, covering uh, 2, 4, 7.5, 15, 22 and 30 meg bands uh, I believe the um, CB band has been blocked out on this I'm not sure so I'll have a look at that um, but I was told that the output stage was working um, and it was something to do with some kind of temperature um, uh, high SWR measurement or um, and it, the cutout on it was causing it to uh, not transmit but to be honest I don't think that's quite the truth because I have done a quick test of the output MOSFETs uh, what I've done I've listed, lifted the drain and the, uh, the gate um, and I've done the normal test for a MOSFET uh, which I, I've also got a, a tester for them and it does, does both show as totally faulty so whether it was a fault prior to that then they blew again or whether it's a fault on the low pass filters on the output um, I don't know so anyway I've disconnected the drain and the source sorry the drain and the gate on both of the MOSFETs which are um, MFR 150s um, now unfortunately there's no stock anywhere at the moment until next year so i've got plenty of time to work on this one so this video is going to be um a couple of uh, well probably two parts i suppose really but um obviously i've done a full uh look see of all the components checked all the caps where there's any cracks in them checked all the resistors for burning um check the components the semiconductors whether there's any signs of burning um the tank the uh, not tents the electrolytics i've checked as regards to physical look whether they've bulged on top or anything so i've done done the usual uh, but before i depowered it up or did anything i wanted to disconnect the the two main output fets just in case there was an issue there i don't want to see it go up in another puff of smoke um so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to connect up now i've got those disconnected um my vna between 1 and 30 meg into the low pass filters on the output and i'm going to check the relays and the low pass filters are working um i'll set it to manual and i'll just cycle through uh the 2 4 7.5 15 22 and 30 meg on here and then what we'll do is we'll look at the outputs and just see if that side's working um because it could be a fault on there it could be a sticky relay it could be anything um if that fails then i'm gonna have to lift the board out i'm gonna have to lift the board out anyway at some point so um we'll do that as and when we get to it but there's quite a bit to um to do to get the board out so i want to just do an listening inspection first um i'll check all the supply rails as well um prior to doing all this and we'll just see what we've got now we have got um a basic circuit diagram um uh unfortunately it doesn't tell you a lot what anything is it's just a circuit diagram and the other unfortunate thing is as well like they whoever did the screen legend for it um all the resistors they put the the designation for it like if it's r51 or whatever underneath the resistor uh, which doesn't help because i don't have a component overlay so i'm gonna have to trace it through um i found a picture on the internet of the back of the board so uh, initially i won't have to take it all apart but it, I mean, it, it, the caps are easy, I can see those values, but if you ever do the screen overlays on these type of boards and you're pushing the resistors to the base, or to the board rather, put, put the, the command designation to the side of it. It really does help when you're doing these sort of repairs and that. Um, speeds my job up a little. Um, but without further ado, let's get the VNA connected and we'll have a look at the low pass filters um, on the output and we'll just see if they're switching correctly. I've connected the uh, mini VNA Pro um, so we can check uh, the SWR and the impedance that the output sees um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flick through all the bands um, so we'll go from the uh, 160 meter all the way around to the uh, 10 meter um, and then what we'll, what we'll have to do we'll bring it to TX by simply shorting the PTT lead to, that, to ground uh, we're in power, so we're actually showing TX on there now. Um, and the output that we're going to sort of get is on the PC. So, unfortunately, it's a bit awkward to show this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
just put some pictures I think um, this is the output for 40 meters uh, showing an impedance of 54 ohms and a SWR of 1.12 to 1 which is fine I've checked the rest of them they all seem pretty much the same um, I'm next going to get the uh, spectrum analyzer out um, use the tracking generator and look at the response of each of the filters um, and take measurements and hopefully we should get some idea then of uh, what, what the actual output's seen. Uh, this is my setup for testing the low pass output filters. Um, basically we're using a uh, Rosen Swartz spectrum analyzer track with tracking generator. Um, so we've set the start at 100 kilohertz and the stop at 60 meg. Um, and what we're going to have a do is have a quick look at when we um, select the modes, which are maybe that bit of wire there, sorry. Select the modes on here. Um, what should happen, as you can see there, as I rotate it, we're just changing the, the bands. So, and what we're going to do is as you can hear from that little clicky 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 click 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 is the relays. So what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to test um, from an injected signal through the filters, uh, through the output relay, and out to this point here. So I've got my tracking generator going into the board where the FETs basically ended, um, and I'm reading it on the output socket. So I know that part's working. Um, I could have picked it up prior to it on one of the relays, but I'd rather see that it's getting to the output. Um, I've checked the pass through that's working fine so between there and there we've we've had it text engaged you, you just got a pass through signal no problem whatsoever um, so without further ado what we'll do is um, we'll uh, have a little play um, and see what we can do I mean basically what we've got to do um, is this is the uh, the PTT lead at the back of the radio um, and what we're going to do is short that to deck and that will put us into TX mode that once we drop so once we drop into there um, select a band and then basically what we're going to do is if I can find that bit of wire again um, sorry I'm not really showing this too well is we're just going to short it out basically it's it's shorted to deck um, do that. and as you can see the TX lights just come on there and then on the uh, spectrum analyzer, you can see the uh, low pass filters working. Um, and we're just going to go through each of the bands, so we'll do that now. Right, what we're doing now, uh, from the output of the FETs, um, basically we're now going to use a tracking generator. Um, and we're just going to work through the modes on the amplifier. So currently we're set to uh, 160 meters. Um, and if we do a little bit of a bring the unit into TX as you can see there um, the filter starts dropping off around about 2.29 meg so let's go up one um, so now we're on the uh, 4 meg on here which is actually 80 meters um, if we adjust the marker the uh, filter starts dropping off at uh, roughly 4.829 so let's move to the next one right, I just moved to 40 meters um, and the filter starts to drop off the low pass filter at about 8.2 meg so let's move another one up okay we just moved up to 20 to 30 meters and let's blow down there and as you can see the filter has just starting to drop off around about 15.47 meg. Um, try another one. Sorry about it, it's a bit boring this, but okay, we just moved up to uh, 15 to 17 meters, and with the drop offs around about 23 meg on that, uh, which isn't too bad. So um, let's just move up, I think, to the last setting, I believe. Okay, we've just now moved to uh, 10 to 12 meters. Um, we're in the TX mode. Um, so we're testing the output relay as well. 
Um, as you can see by the curve, that seems to be working fine. Uh, the drop off seems to be around, starting off around about 30 meg, um, which is fine. So that's no problem at all. So I think we're sort of proving now that um, at least we know the um, low pass filters and the associated relays um, are all working, which are all down here. So we know that part of the circuit's working. We know the output relay is working, which is this one here. Um, that's just simply engaged. I'll just ground basically the um, the output. Uh, sorry, the uh, PTT. Um, but yeah, so that seems to be all working anyway. So we, in my mind anyway, I've sort of proved to myself that this part of the board's fine now. So now what we're going to do is start testing. So I shouldn't be touching that still alive. Uh, <laughs> um, going to start testing some of the SWR and the safety features uh, such as these NTC devices and things and that um, and just check whether they're operating okay um, the um, there are a few other settings we can look at we can go into um, if we go to the set uh, there's an ALC setup which we could play with that make sure that's working okay um, sorry wrong one uh, we can mess with the temperatures Although I think that one's only Celsius or Fahrenheit. I don't think you've got a lot of choice with that one. Yeah, okay to that. Um, internal Vox, we can mess with that. Delay, not too fussed about. Fan speed, that might be interesting to have a look at. At the moment I've got it set to quiet mode, so it'll only come on if the temperature rises above a certain point. Um, Dim as just a display. Info, I'll have a quick look at that. Ooh, it's quite old this 09 10 14 um, version 1.12 I think there is a later software version for the or firmware version so I don't know if it's downloadable and upgradable yourself or it's got to be done uh, back at base um, so I'll look into um, so okay to that next one defaults if you want to reset everything to their defaults and just the escape menu um, I don't think there's anything more we're just going around in a circle now Let's just escape there. Okay. Uh, so um, I've tested it in manual mode with the TX off. I don't know if you can hear that. All the relays are clicking nicely. Um, it's not affecting the output, obviously, because we haven't got the output relay switched on. Um, so I can't. I won't. There's no point in me showing you that on the spectrum analyzer because there's nothing to look at. Um, but yeah, so it's, it seems to be working okay. So I'm, I'm starting to think really that this is uh, just been overdriven or um, or into a very high SWR load. So, um, but we're gonna we're gonna continue anyway and do a few more tests, and we'll see where we get to. Okay, I thought we'd uh, check the uh, NTC thermistors. There's two on the board. There's one here, and the other one is under the board and it's down there. Let's see if we find something a bit better to poke it with. Uh, it's down there, and I believe it's attached to the heat sink. Um, what we'll do is I'm going to use the hot air gun. We're going to see what happens. We're going to put it into TX mode. We'll put the hot air blower on it and see if we get any error messages. Or um, so. Okay, we've just gone into TX mode. We're at 30 degrees. This is going to excuse the noise. Oh, well. I'll put that on this one. And I see nothing at all. Any warnings? Nothing. We're blowing on it directly. I want to do such much more than that. That's pretty hot. It's starting to melt the plastic on the legs. So there's a chance that might be faulty. Right, let's try uh, the one on the board down there. Let's blow on there a little bit. As you can see, temperature's rising. And the fans just come on. So that one's working fine. Um, the one that actually, you know, we'll just make some. I'll just wait till it all quietens down a little bit. Okay, so temperature's dropping now on the NT. Let's have a quick look on the diagram. I believe it is. Let's page over. Uh, yep, there is the 
in TC2. So that one's actually mounted on the the heat sink. And the other one, this one, smaller one here, so I can't zoom in much better. Um, this one here is actually mounted normally on top of the FET. Um, Mine seems to be doing nothing, so there's a little bit of cause of concern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to trace that circuit through and find out if the actual device is faulty. Um, I might explain or one of these has gone bang or um, if they've overheated. So um, next job. Right, I'm going to test the NTC. Uh, at the moment it's reading 9K, um, approximately anyway. Um, let's uh, try applying a little bit of heat. Keep going. And there you go, as we're applying the heat, it's well dropping. Okay, let's take the heat back off. Now oh, we're just using the, uh, the hot air guns to do that. And the temperature's rising again. Um, so it's. it's it's actually looking like it's okay to be honest so what we're gonna have to do is have a look at the control circuit but we know that one's working okay um, slowly rising back up again um, I'll just keep an eye on it and then we're going to test the circuit that is associated to 